Alright, so this is the installation of the brand new sink model on a Lowrance trolling motor. Step one, out of the box, you are going to put this mount on here and you are going to adjust the height of this and put this where you want it before we continue. Once you have this set, what we are going to do is we are going to pull the trolling motor back up. What you're going to get is you're going to get the sink module itself as well as the cap that's going to go there like that. You are going to get the stabilizer with the primary gear that's going to also go inside of here. And you are going to get the six screws. So first thing you are going to need, you're going to need a, a three millimeter Allen to take these screws out of here. So you're going to take this one. And this one. You're going to set this aside. You're going to take this out here. Alright, first thing, we're going to take out these eight screws on the top here. All right, so once those eight screws are removed, we have these four in here. All right, so at this step would be a good time to sit here and make sure we have all of our screws and get them organized. There's those four. And all of those. All right, so we're gonna take these four screws here and our Phillips screwdriver come over to our trolling motor shaft and we're going to install this piece on the bottom here put this piece right here we're going to put these filler phillips screws in here we're going to put them in kind of loosely so we can still be able to adjust this like this just about three threads would be just fine So we're going to line this Lowrance up here, this little mark, at three inches. Measuring from right here, the flat off of this, to flat right here. It's going to be three inches. What we're going to do is these that we just barely fastened, we're going to come in here and we're going to tighten them all the way up. All the way up. Don't have to tighten them extremely tight just until they're snug. 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 Alright, so we're going to take this gear. As you can see, this side is recessed. This side is not. If you're going to put that screw in there, it's going to hang way out there. But if you put it on this side, it is going to go down and seat in there correctly. This is the side the screw is going to go into. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one on this side. And where this cross beam is here, this little hatch, we are going to cover that just so it's not sitting half on half off. Get this screw started in here. Line it up with this first hole. Alright, next we're going to do the other side. So you can see here this has a notch in it, same as this one, but it's going to be mirrored. We're going to line that up here, make sure they are both matching.
All right, and that is the top side for the gear. Now we're gonna do the retaining clip. These have the same sort of notch. See how that's lined up there? That side's notched, this side is flat. We're gonna line that up identical to this. So there's my notch on that side. So this notch is over here. These are recessed the same as the top. So right here where the recess is, that's where the screw is gonna go. Okay, so once both of these halves here are separated, we have a big side and a small side. The small side is going to go toward the live scanner, the bigger side is going to go around this gear. So what we'll do is we'll crack this loose. This dot indicates the top. Toward the trolling motor head is going to be the top. So make sure that dot is facing upwards. And then we're going to slide these two halves like this. We'll tighten that down so it'll stay in place while we're working on it. And then what we're going to have to do here is loosen this a little bit to turn it sideways so we can get this first half on over here. Slide this on here like this. Grab our 3 millimeter. Throw it on the ground. Tighten that screw down. Go back to this one. Tighten this one a little bit too. Then come back to this one. Make sure they are tightened evenly on both sides. Once you start to feel a little bit of resistance, go to the other side. Tight. Tight. Now we're going to come back up here. We're going to straighten this back out. Make sure that is straight. Tighten that down. Alright, as you can see, there's two different sets of holes here. If we put it on with these two holes, it looks like it's going to work, but then you're going to go try to put this on, and that'll never fit in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the next the next set of holes here, and then if we're going to try to put this on, it's going to fit just right. So, keep these two holes here. We're going to insert the screw into there. Tighten this up. All right, so we're going to take this sensor and we're going to, there's usually a cover on here, take the cover off of this one and take the one off the bottom of the head. So the way I'm going to route this is I'm going to go in between the stabilizer and behind this mount to keep it out of harm's way from any cables or anything like that. I'm going to take this notch here and line it up with the notch in here. Turn it, plug that all the way up, tighten this down, and then... I am going to come here to this pedal. I'm going to turn the pedal on. Once my light turns on, I'm going to hit both pedals and it's going to turn blue. Once it's blue, I can come here and if this is out of alignment, I can come here and I can scroll this wheel until my transducer is pointing straight with my trolling motor. Once that is straight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here, put this on this gear. Take these screws, install them in here like this, tighten this down, If it's not going easily, do not force it. Just move it around, then you'll get it right in the spot. And we'll come down to the bottom, install these two screws here. 
when these are snug, if I need to make any further adjustments on this, what I can do is I can loosen this. If I turn this, it'll turn that whole sensor. So I'll just make sure that's straight. Tighten this down. Then I can take this other half here, put these screws in. Tighten these down evenly. Then I'll take my little strap here. Tighten that down, and that is how you install a sink unit on a Lowrance trolling motor.